Hi guys, I'm back with another video. Today I'm going to be covering one of the most desired projects in the crypto space that I believe is about to explode. Like and subscribe if you enjoy the content. None of this is financial advice. Let's get into it. I have a dream. That's all I need. I'll make it happen with some work and belief. No. So the project I'm going to be covering today is called Caspa. The ticker is CAS. According to CoinMarketCap, Caspa is currently ranked 216 among all cryptocurrencies. However, as I discussed in my last Caspa video, there's a little bit of a discrepancy going on on CoinMarketCap. And I believe it's due to Caspa not being listed on Binance. Based on market cap, Caspa should theoretically be ranked about 80th among all cryptocurrencies. But it's trading at a price point of about two and a half cents. It has a market cap of 483 million, a max supply of 28.7 billion, and a circulating supply of 19.5 billion. That's about 68% in circulation. Now, unlike most projects, Casper reached its all-time high in 2023 at just over four cents, and it's currently retraced 42% since then. Now, when you look at Casper's markets, as you can see, it's listed on a lot of different exchanges. However, it's missing a few big names. It's not listed on Binance, and it's not listed on Coinbase, which if it got listed on those two could absolutely skyrocket the price. But if you guys are looking to get into Casper, I recommend buying it through KuCoin or Mexi. I think those two are the easiest exchanges to use. Make sure you guys stay tuned till the end of the video where I will show you guys Caspa on the daily time frame and you will see why I am so bullish in the short term. Now Caspa is a proof of work cryptocurrency which implements the Ghost DAG protocol. Unlike traditional blockchains, Ghost DAG does not orphan blocks created in parallel, rather allows them to coexist and orders them in consensus. The Caspa blockchain is actually a block DAG. Now I'm going to break some of this down. It is known that proof of work is more decentralized than proof of stake blockchains. Most proof of stake blockchains, a validator's probability to confirm a block is directly correlated to how many tokens they have staked, which by nature is going to make proof of stake blockchains a lot more centralized as the rich are only going to get richer. And essentially Caspa claims to be the first ever scalable proof of work blockchain or block DAG in this case, which means that it will have successfully solved the age old blockchain trilemma of security, scalability, and decentralization, which if that is true, Caspa could be absolutely enormous in the upcoming years. But in simple terms, Caspa aims to be a pure pure electronic cash system, basically being the silver to Bitcoin's gold. Because Bitcoin's max supply is only 21 million, no one actually wants to spend their Bitcoin. It is extremely scarce and in turn kind of fails at its initial goal of being a peer-to-peer -peer electronic cash system. And it's been proven throughout history that silver has worked as a better currency than gold, as it's been a lot more abundant. Now you guys may get annoyed because I bring it up in every single Casper video, but that's because I think it's extremely important. The founder is Yonatan Sumpolinsky, who was a postdoc CS at Harvard University on the MEV research team and his 2013 paper on the ghost DAG protocol is cited in Ethereum's white paper, the second largest cryptocurrency. Vitalik himself has complimented the ghost DAG protocol. And I believe this is a narrative that can be used in the next bull run. As I said, Casper is ranked around the 80th largest cryptocurrency. The fact that it plays a role in what Ethereum is doing shows just how undervalued this project is. Now, some of Caspa's key features, fastest transactions. Caspa's block DAG network generates multiple blocks every second for posting transactions to the ledger, combined with fully confirmed transactions in 10 seconds. This makes Caspa ideal for everyday transactions. And in my last video, I showed Caspa versus MasterCard in the time it took for a transaction to be completed. Caspa took about seven seconds. MasterCard took 13 seconds. That is very fast. Other key features are instant confirmation, scalability, efficient proof of work, security, block DAG. Some of their dApps are Change, Zellcore, Tanquam, and OneKey. On top of that, their website is built and maintained by the Caspa community members. That just goes to show how strong of a community they actually have. And now when you go to Caspa's Block Explorer, I noticed how there were some people talking about how the active addresses and transactions have just gradually declined. Now, one reason potentially for that is because people realize Caspa's value long-term. If nobody is sending their Caspa from wallet to wallet or selling their Caspa, then it's not going to be considered an active address. Perhaps there could be other reasons, but in my opinion, that's the most likely scenario. And I also want to show you guys when you go to Google Trends and you type in Caspa Crypto, the Caspa Crypto search term is correlated pretty heavily to price action itself. As you guys can see, it had its biggest spike up in April of 2023 when it reached its all-time high. Now, when you look at Caspa on Twitter, they have about 63.4 thousand followers and some major news that I want to cover today. Caspa can now be bridged to Ethereum with the launch of the wrapped Caspa on finance changes, DEX 
Next mobile app. This means direct asset transfer from Casper to Ethereum and access to Ethereum's vast DeFi ecosystem. This is huge. Ethereum has by far the largest DeFi ecosystem. So that just gives Casper all kinds of new opportunities. And they are still continuing to post every single day, which as I stress in every single video is very important. You want a team that keeps their community up to date. And now I talked about this in the video I made yesterday, but I want to talk about it again because I think it's important. BlackRock filed for a Bitcoin ETF. What happens to the crypto market if BlackRock actually succeeds at filing for an ETF? In my opinion, it quite literally could start an early bull run. BlackRock is the world's largest asset manager. They are in charge of trillions of dollars of funds. And most people don't realize how small the crypto market actually is. Back in November of 2022, the S&P 500 is valued at 40 times larger than the crypto market, which shows how much growth crypto can actually have, especially if the largest asset manager gets involved, which in my opinion would obviously drive Bitcoin's price significantly higher, which in turn should drive Caspa and most other altcoins price upward as well. Now I want to take a look at where Caspa could potentially end up next bull market. So as I discussed, Caspa's market cap is about 484 million. If we look at some of these projects in here, Solana currently has a market cap of about 8.7 billion, but reached an all-time high market cap of about 78 billion. Dogecoin, which is literally just a meme coin, is about 9.1 billion. I understand Dogecoin had Elon Musk and a lot of other influencers pumping it up. However, still 9.1 billion right now in a bear market. XRP is about 24.5 billion. If you go to market cap of and you put Caspa in and you put Dogecoin in, theoretically, if Caspa were to reach the market cap of what Dogecoin is currently sitting at, it'd be about 46 cents and that would be about an 18x. I think this is absolutely possible. And personally, I think it could reach a market cap a lot closer to XRP, which if it reached XRP's current market cap, it'd be trading at a price point of $1.26 and that'd be about a 50x. Now, the biggest reason I think Casper will grow so much is because it was born during a bear market. It has never actually experienced a bull run. Imagine if Casper actually gets institutionally adopted. That could skyrocket the price. And another reason I believe it will take off is because it had a fair launch where it was evenly split. You're not going to have a bunch of VCs dumping on you, which is a big reason why a lot of altcoins suddenly just lose 30% in value because VCs take profit. But obviously these price predictions are just my opinion. Please do your own research and come to your own conclusions. Now, a big part of why I'm making this video today is because when you look at Caspa on the daily time frame, it is sitting in a symmetrical triangle, which is a 50-50 pattern. Now, a big reason as to why I think it has a good chance to actually break up is because the stochastics are extremely oversold starting to push up with the RSI also pushing up. Typically, when symmetrical triangles break down, you have overbought stochastics. That's the complete opposite right now. And the measured move would take you to about five and a half cents. Measured moves are not guaranteed. However, traditionally, these three indicators suggest Caspa is about to make an explosive move. None of this is financial advice though. And also keep in mind, Caspa and most other cryptocurrencies are tied to Bitcoin. If Bitcoin rises, most will rise. If Bitcoin falls, most will fall. And to that point, I want to show you guys Bitcoin's daily time frame. So as you guys can see, the stochastics are also extremely oversold and the RSI is a little bit high, but it's not too bad. You could then also argue that Bitcoin is in a little bit of a bull pennant, which bull pennants break up 68% of the time. And the measured move would take you to about $36,500 which would line up with Bitcoin's weekly time frame that I've been covering in all of my last videos. But keep in mind, macroeconomics significantly outweigh technical analysis. So if bad news comes out, Bitcoin could crash back down to 15,000. Anything is possible. So just keep an open mind. But that's about all. Let me know down in the comments. How do you guys feel about Caspa? And where do you think the crypto market's headed within the next few weeks? Like and subscribe if you enjoy the content. Thank you guys for watching. Have a great rest of your day. I'm hitting the ground running up and coming. Ain't nothing yet. Rookie of the year. I'ma keep it 100. Cold blooded. No budget from nothing to something I ain't bluffing I got a full hand and a full plan I ain't gonna stop till I'm at the top, man Every single drop got me feeling awesome I'm